Hello, I'm Regina McCann Hess, president of Forge Wealth Management, and welcome to Women in Wealth Series. Today, we're going to talk about 10 things you should know about international investing. If you're considering investing in equities across the pond, here's what you should know before jumping in. The first tip is that you're fishing in a bigger pond. The despite the wide range of investment opportunities available in the United States, a look beyond our borders can offer a much bigger playing field. There's actually about four times more publicly traded international companies than U.S. equities, according to Bloomberg. The second thing you should know, what flavor do you prefer? There's a choice between developed market equities and emerging market equities. Now, developed market equities invest in financially mature regions such as Europe and Japan, while emerging market equities invest in developing countries and regions such as China and Africa. Emerging market economies typically experience faster economic growth and have an added bonus of demographic tailwinds, which could potentially boost uh, emerging market stocks, though they do come with increased risks. Third thing to know is more to love. Diversifying outside the U.S. can help investors make the most of many economic environments. Uh, a portfolio that includes international equities can help investors potentially benefit from strong growth in other countries and a variety of inflation in interest rate environments. Tip number four, zagging when the U.S. is digging. While volatility is an inevitable part of investing, foreign markets don't always rise and fall in sync with the U.S. markets. Diversifying with international invest investments may help investors lessen the impact of volatility across the board. Item number five, missing the trees for the forest. Although the U.S. stocks have had a long run of strong performance, a majority of the world's top performing individual stocks have been consistently international. Pretty surprising, right? On average, 82% of the top 50 stocks globally were from non-U.S. companies, according to the fact sheet in 2023 of January. Okay, and the sixth reason you may want to consider international investing is a patterned past. Since 1970s, U.S. and international markets have traded um, multi-year periods of outperformance. While domestic investors enjoyed U.S. outperformance for the past decade at least, well beyond the average time frame of eight years, International stocks finally outperformed in 2022, according to data sources like Morningstar, Bloomberg, and Hartford Funds. Now, this suggests the cycle may have shifted. Let's look at item number seven, a lesson in value. Relative to the United States, international stocks are actually cheaper. They pay higher dividends and have valuations that are well below their historical average, according to the fact set and Hartford Funds. Um, these characteristics may be a draw to investors who seek to capitalize on their lower prices and potential appreciation. All right, let's look at item number eight, the greenback impact. Now, after remaining strong for the last few years, the U.S. dollar has generally been weakening. A weak dollar tends to work in favor of international equities by making bar borrowing money cheaper for foreign companies, which in turn can help boost profits. Now let's look at the ninth reason you may want to consider international investing. The more you know. Like all investments, international investing has its own set of risks. Investors may be subject to currency volatility, geopolitical disruptions, and liquidity risks that differ from investments here in the United States. So to help navigate these risks, it may be beneficial to access international stocks through uh, professional active management. And last but not least, Item number 10, choose your own adventure. Investors can invest internationally by tracking a passive index, by using an actively managed fund that uses in-depth research, or through strategic beta funds that use um, a rules-based methodology in effort to outperform passive indices. So a lot of reasons there to consider international investing. I guess their call to action today is, 
I don't know, be a little open-minded. I know as United States citizens, we tend to think, okay, well, it's, you know, it's safer at home. We like our homegrown team um, uh, and I'm all for that, but there is uh, something to be said for diversification. So take a look at uh, international uh, asset class as an option for diversifying your portfolio. And with that, thank you so much for joining me. Again, I'm Regina McCann-Hess, president of Forge Wealth Management. Uh, you can follow me at forgewealth.com and uh, I'm on Facebook and YouTube at Forge Wealth, Instagram, Forge Wealth Management and um, LinkedIn, Regina McCann has. Go make it a great day.